Alright what's up guys in this video we're going to be repairing the cracked display on this iPhone X as well as a battery. So as some of you may know I purchased devices to repair and resell. This iPhone X we got it for $140 after taxes and shipping and all it needs is a screen replacement as well as a battery. So if we go into the battery we could see the battery health already says service and the maximum capacity is at 81. Usually I've noticed like at around 85% max capacity you already start noticing a huge difference in battery life. So what I normally do is I refurbish the display but I didn't notice on the listing for this iPhone X that the screen does have burn in i don't know if you guys could see in the camera but here at the bottom you could see this little gray line as well as at the top it might be a little hard to see but there's a lot of burn in here at the top so unfortunately we are going to lose a little bit of money on this i mean we're still going to make some money after we sell this device when i do replace the screen usually they're kind of expensive i like to get the better quality screens like soft oleds I don't really like to get hard OLEDs just because the quality doesn't look as good. I like to stick with better quality parts. Anyways, the condition of this phone is actually pretty good. I know it is a little bit dirty. We just go ahead and wipe it down. I mean, these iPhone X's are fingerprint magnets. But yeah, if you guys could see, that glass is pretty good. It doesn't really have much scratches. Towards the bottom here, it does have a few scuffs, but nothing too crazy. The frame is in great condition, not too many marks, it's looking pretty good. The bottom is pretty good too. The little speaker holes are really dirty, but I do detail the phone really good before I sell it. So these speaker holes are going to be really clean before I take pictures and post it up for sale. Alright, so enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started with this repair. First, we're going to go ahead and power off the device. Next, we're going to grab our tools and remove the two bottom screws. All right, so next let's get our little suction tool and our iSesimo. So, I mean, that tends to happen when you don't use uh, heat when removing the displays. So you got to be careful when doing these. In my case, this display is already broken, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, I usually like to add a little bit of ISO when opening the displays just to loosen up that adhesive. It makes it a bit softer and easier to cut through. Also, have you guys heard about that thing that Samsung is trying to pull? Um, basically, from what I've seen is that they're trying to ban aftermarket displays for, I think, iPhone and Samsung phones. Uh, I think their argument was something like suppliers are marketing their aftermarket displays as OEM, something like that. It's a little scary. I mean, pretty much all the suppliers that I use were listed on that document. I saw a video by Louis Rossman and in that document that he was showing, I would say pretty much most, if not all the suppliers that I use were listed on there. But yeah, let's go ahead and remove these screws holding on this bracket. I like to use ceramic tweezers just so I don't cause any shorts. and remove that little bracket now before we do start working on the device you want to make sure you unplug the battery i actually have shorted out i think one iphone 6 or 6s can't remember but i did cause a short but yeah we want to go ahead and remove these two connectors here and then the connector for the front ear speaker and sensors um, you want to be careful not to damage this ribbon cable right here or we will lose face ID. I like to use this little tool just to kind of cut through the adhesive. Oh, whoops, I actually unplugged the wrong one. You guys are probably like, damn this rookie. It's this one right here. All right, so go ahead and remove this. Put our screen off to the side for now and let's remove this old seal what i like to do is i like to use this glue or ochre removal tool um, i go around and just grab that old seal and it pretty much pulls it right off let's 
to get our tweezers and kind of go around the frame and remove all that nasty debris and dirt that's been caught in between the screen and the frame of your phone for so long. So that's good right there. Let's use our little brush just to kind of brush everything off. All the loose dirt and all that stuff. I do like to use a little bit of ISO for the battery removal. I mean, usually the tabs rip, so the ISO does help out a lot when removing batteries from the iPhones. Just kind of want to be careful when peeling back this adhesive. You don't want your tweezers or your tools to slip and hit any of the cables around it. Then you're just causing yourself a lot more work and money and time. So we got that one. Usually I like to remove this top piece first and then I like to just kind of peel this back, grab a little plastic pry tool and just kind of get in between this area right here. Just be careful that you don't damage that uh, cable for, I believe it's the volume buttons and I think the wireless charger. But yeah, once I could fit my finger in here, I kind of just pry this sucker out. If it's still hard to remove, just add a little bit of ISO and kind of let it uh, soak up. I mean, if this was a good battery, I would be extra careful. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be bending it and treating it like I am with this one. But since this one is already bad and I'm no longer going to use this, then it's not a big deal. But still, you want to be careful working around these electronic components. Here's our battery. And put that off to the side. So a little bit of the paint did come off the wireless charger. But let's go ahead and remove these tabs now. So if you start using a lot of ISO, then it kind of just starts falling apart. There we go. Now that's good. And I also like to use these little towels just to clean up the area, make it look a little more professional or clean, I guess. Now we could get our new parts so this is our battery that we're going to be using uh this one's from injured gadgets it's a x cap extended capacity so this one says that it has 3150 milliamps and the original one says it has where is it at if you guys could see that yeah i'll put it right here see if it focuses 2716 milliamps so that's a Pretty significant difference in battery health. I've used these for a few customers. I haven't had any complaints. I haven't used this on my personal phone. I have a 11 Pro Max. I am gonna have to change the battery pretty soon. So I'm debating on whether to use one of the XCAP brand batteries or one of the Amp Centrix batteries for Mobile Centrix. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have a personal preference or if you guys have more experience using these batteries. Um, if any of them are better, let me know. Anyways, let's put our screen off to the side and open up our battery. Here's our battery. The thing that I like is that usually it has a battery adhesive already pre-installed. So here's our battery. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and give this another quick little clean. We are going to be installing our battery now. Alright, so at this point my camera did decide to stop recording, which is great, just what I needed. No, I'm just kidding, but it did stop recording, I don't know why. 
kind of sucks but luckily i did capture the rest of the footage on the gopro and i'll still upload this video hopefully that's not a huge deal breaker for you guys but yeah i just want to let you all know let's go ahead and see if it plugs in good yeah so it's pretty good all right now we unplug the battery put this off to the side it's time to remove our front ear speaker and sensors and transfer this over onto our new screen so I also like to add a little bit of ISO when removing these parts if you don't have like a hot plate or uh, some type of heat mat or heating platform uh, ISO always does the trick don't be afraid to use this it hasn't damaged any devices that I've worked on and I've worked on many devices i wouldn't say hundreds but i would say that i've worked on a lot of devices also when removing this screw right here make sure not to lose this little bracket piece this little I'm not sure what it is for probably for some type of ground contact or something but just make sure not to lose that i hate when my camera loses focus Ooh. all right now we want to go ahead and peel this back and try to remove these sensors microphone and sensors sometimes i actually just remove the whole little plastic holder um, especially when refurbishing displays i do go ahead and remove the whole thing and reuse it on the new display there we go and here's our ear speaker all right now we put this off to the side and we get our new display so here is our new display from mobile centrix this is a soft oled assembly honestly i don't recommend the hard oleds unless it's for a customer that doesn't really care i like to use good quality parts let's go ahead and remove this so i see a lot of people that don't remove this some people do some don't i don't know if it causes any performance issues but i do like to remove it We could go ahead and transfer our front ear speaker and sensors over onto the new screen. Uh, I like to use my tweezers and put them right here just so I could kind of keep that little bracket straight. All right, so it looks pretty good. What we're going to do is uh, transfer over the true tone from the original display um, to the new one. I like to use the iCopy Plus from Keon Lee just because it's pretty quick, turns on fast, uh, does what it needs to do, and hasn't gave me any issues since I purchased it. So we go ahead and plug it in, read the data. Now we could go ahead and unplug our screen. We plug in the aftermarket one, and we could go ahead and transfer over the data. A lot of customers don't even know about True Tone. When I mention it, they just say, oh, I don't even know what that is. And then I have to show them. All right. So here's a phone with the battery. Here's our screen. So this took us probably, I would say, what, like 30, 40 minutes. But yeah, I also like to clean up the frame before installing the new seal just to make sure it adheres on there properly. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish up this repair. Yeah, let's go ahead and test out our device and see if it boots up. All right, got the Apple logo. And there it is. True tone still there. Let's go into our settings and battery. Let's go ahead and go to our battery health. And now we have 100% maximum battery capacity. Now it's time to close it up. 
and yeah there it is guys uh iphone x screen replacement with true tone and battery replacement if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one